Welcome to Sam's Russian Adventures. I'm Sam, an English guy living in provincial Russia. Now, one of the things I like best about Russia is getting out into the countryside and going on a road trip. But often it works out that the destination is nowhere near as good as the journey. And this is an example of one of those occasions. I was planning to drive from Vladimir to Suzdal to make a video in Suzdal. But when I was going along the road, I saw a location that I've been wanting to film for a long time. I stopped there and well, you're about to see. So join me on an epic Russian road trip. Звездочка 2023. Почувствуйте себя настоящим императором. Биологически активная добавка не является. All the snow is melting. Today it's plus three and a half degrees and wow. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely fascinated with places like this. This is a place called Pavlovska. Pavlovska is a settlement that was built to house the employees or the workers of a collective farm during the Soviet Union. But of course the Soviet Union ended, as did the collective farm, but the settlement remains. And it's not that far from Suzdal or Vladimir. It's like about 20 minutes drive to either one. So I can understand why people stayed here. And it's also very interesting to see the different types of architecture that's here. Because typically you have panel houses that are built really quickly to house the workers of a collective farm. But in this settlement, there's so many different types of houses. It's really interesting. So over here it says Produkti, which means like grocery store and uh, fresh meat. Oh, cool. Over here we've got like a little sheltered area. I can imagine the locals probably make barbecues in here. Put a table in there and chill out while their kids are on the playground. Here we've got some adverts for the upcoming election, presidential election. It says, look, together we're stronger. Vote for Russia. And you can see, look, that despite living in these apartment buildings, they're growing their own vegetables, although it doesn't look like there's been much, much action going on in winter. Check out the little flower blowing in the wind. And look, you can see how they've painted their uh, building here as well to make it look interesting. Just had a joke with the lady, with the two young ladies behind me. They just had a joke with me and they're like, what are you filming? And I was saying, just a lovely uh, exterior and the flower. And they were like, well, you know, you could be a terrorist. I was like, don't worry, love. <laughs> I'm not a terrorist. Look at those icicles hanging there. I love how all of the apartment buildings have little benches outside. And in the summer, in the summer, the locals or the residents, I should say, sit outside on the bench and enjoy the sun and, you know, perhaps have a, a a glass of Dobrikola and some Simichki. Wow, look at this. Blackburn Car Centre. I'm really fascinated by these purpose-built Soviet apartments that this settlement here was built to house the employees of a collective farm. Interesting, I've never seen something like this before. Just wedged in between the houses, we've got, I guess, what would have been a shop, maybe. So I just shouted up to the woman on the balcony there and she said it was an apartment. It's actually an apartment, it's not a shop or anything. Wow, I don't know if you can make out up there, but there's the Soviet Union flag hanging up and it's just like a ghost flag now. I wonder how long it's been up there for. You can just see that what's left is a little bit of it in the hammer and sickle. And the snowman's head's fallen off. You can see that the kids have made little different colored buttons on him, but it's a spring day and his head's fallen off. Let's have a look if the swings have got the Soviet creek or not. 
they look like they're well used. No, this one's well oiled. This is the great thing about living out here. No locks needed for any of the kids' toys like this. But I've seen something funny. This one doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. Check out that, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, what a nice looking seesaw. I'm guessing this could be the house of culture. Should we go check it out? See what's going on in there? So I just asked the guy there and he said that this is the administration building. Very fascinating, huge administration building. I think I'm going to go inside and see if I can learn any history about the place. It'd be pretty interesting, wouldn't it? Looks very Soviet inside. Oh, is there a way in? Yeah, there is. Let's have a quick look. Wow. It looks so Soviet and so cool. So cool. Check it out. So it turned out this is actually the centre for the agricultural firm here, or agricultural farm, I guess. So uh, yeah, so there's no house of culture, no administration, but I'll carry on searching. This cool building over here is the school. Obviously not going to be filming there. Wow, and over here we've got some two story houses very interesting very nice much more pleasant to live in i guess being stared at by the locals maybe go and ask them you're a tourist yeah а чем отличался вот эти люди, которые здесь жили, а люди, которые на это трехэтажные вот это? Есть разница? Совхоз строил, совхоз давали, а это кто в сельхоз химии работал, им здесь квартиры давали. Это было 30 лет назад. Хорошо. Ладно, спасибо. This is the first time I've seen buildings like this, which were built in the Soviet Union. It's very interesting. And you can see that they've been extended and had bits added to them using all different types of materials. Over here, we've got the school playground and you can see that people have been still going to these outdoor weight machines. These are completely fascinating to me because I've never seen them built like this at all. Wow, incredible. This is fascinating for me, really fascinating because they're all just usually typically those panel houses, but not in this place. And you can see that they all came with a bit of land that the people would have used to grow their own crops and perhaps have some livestock in there. In this one you can see an old Soviet light hanging up. Don't know if you can make it out, just kind of there. Well, it looks like this guy is a collector of signage. We've got a uh, sign here now. This is a Soviet sign. I need to learn the meaning of it. You can see that he chills out here. He's got a little barbecue. He's going to be making shashlik here, chilling out on his bench. He's obviously a patriot with the Russian flag. And he's got a dog that could kill me inside there. And who knows what this is for? Let me know in the comments. I know, but I just want to know if you know. All oh, the snow is melting. It's such a great sign to see the melting snow and the water dripping and check out the gate. That's so cool. I can't tell you how long I've waited to be able to see some land finally after winter. And I guess there's probably some hot water going underneath here, maybe a pipe. And that's why we've got some proof that the land is still here with us. Wow, this is absolutely fascinating. It really is. There's nobody around to speak to us. If only like one of the people was hanging around outside the house that I could have a chat to. Wow. And then here is like little workshops. We've got a cat over there. Let's go and speak to the cat. Privyat. 
Я знаю. Я don't want away. We've got a cat. I'm gonna try and get closer. Oh, she's running away already. Oh man, why are all the cats scared of me here? Look over here again. We've got the kind of chill out area where the people in this house will have barbecues in the summer. You can see this dude has done his best to block up the window. Wow, walking on actual land. Incredible, incredible. Snowman is on his last legs. Spring is on the way. His hand has already fallen off. If you're interested or even fascinated in places like this, then you want to check out my second channel called B Road Russia. Today's video is just accidental, right? I was just driving past, saw this place. I've seen it quite a few times from the road and I decided to stop and film. But B Road Russia is dedicated to filming Russia off the main road. Probably one of the best things about living in the countryside like this is there's no need to lock up your sledge. This would be pretty good after the banya. Go inside the banya, run up into the slide and sledge down into the snow. Just in case you don't know much about Soviet history, most of the people that lived in the countryside would have worked at some sort of collective farm or some sort of factory or perhaps a contour. So before the Soviet Union existed, the villages would have housed a few rich farmers and then lots of peasants. And then during the Soviet Union, they did collectivization, where they grouped everyone together, everyone was equal as it were, all of the assets of the richer farmers was given to the whole group, and they used those tools and those instruments to work the land. And then on those same villages, they built more settlements to house the employees or the workers of the factory or of the farm. And so we had collectivized farms and then they would build these houses to house the people that worked on them and the areas grew and grew and grew but when the Soviet Union ended the collectivized farms were no longer profitable that was the problem because in the Soviet Union there was no competition but as soon as the Soviet Union ended and it was Russia and it was a market economy and suddenly these collective farms were competing against well worldwide huge factories that cared about profit and efficiency then suddenly these collective farms could not you know basically survive and they closed one by one some were privatized some still went out of business the 90s was a chaotic time for Russia a really chaotic time so it ended up that the collective farms closed but the settlements remained oh look at this guy he's been doing some hunting check out that rat blimey well done mate wow well done on you and so when the soviet union finished all of these properties were given to the people that lived in them and since then you can see that some of them have done some work on them they put yellow on this one look and changed that one entirely I'd like to get towed on that thing. Looks quite fun, doesn't it? Check this out. There's a car under there. <laughs> Mental. Wow. Look what we've got hanging up here. What are these? Someone tell me in the comments. Now this house here, another completely different style. But look at the garden. I've got to try and get into that garden. That looks so cool. Is there a way in? There's no way in. Look at that. There's a massive sun over there. Can you see it? And then look at this. We've got a private property newly built here and it looks like it belongs to the president. Incredible. Wow. We've got video camera in work here somewhere and a sign saying we're selling greenhouses. I wonder what it must be like for this family who are obviously a lot more wealthy 
living next to all of the others. Wow, they've got like a scarecrow. It looks like a cat in the garden. Can you see that? Let me try and get the camera up a bit higher. Look at that, madness. So I guess this is the kindergarten, so I'm not gonna do much filming there, but just to show you how nice it is over there. Look at the little bird houses hanging here and stuff. And all these little, got a little car going on down there. And some little places, I guess, where they play games and stuff. That's really cool. The collective farm must have been huge here because there's so many houses I could walk around here all day. These purpose-built panel houses are as far as the eye can see. Check out the name. Vladimirets from Vladimir. So everyone who has a house here has either a piece of land next to the house or an allotment and it smells like a farm. As I'm walking down this road I can smell the hay, I can smell the, the cow manure or whatever farms smell like. I'm not an expert to be fair. I think we might have a cool car over here. Just wanted the people to go by until I had a look. Check that out. A Volga. So have a look at this. Get on the snow a little bit. You can see these bottles on the metal there. They are for to protect the metal from rust. Wow, these places are absolutely fascinating. Look at this in in summer. This is going to be all green. It's going to be this amazing like green kind of like archway. People are going to be able to sit here on the bench and chill out. Incredible. And then over here we've got yet another style of house. Wow. I'd love to know the difference in why different houses were built and who lived in them. Ha! It says a, a specific, a, an especially dangerous place here, it says, huh. on the sign. Look at this, and the guy's like decorated his garage with CDs and a horseshoe for good luck. And he's even got a, a cap up there that he probably wears when he goes inside the garage. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. It's got all these different things hanging up here. Different parts there, look. They're so cool. And he's even got the pirate flag up there, that is sick. Ha! Well done. Is when you pajar the We just have no job here, eh? Ask you to pajar us, what is it? Ocho mnogo razni domov, eh? No, tipo, eh, doki tajni pani, oki potom metu vod doki tajni zis, i šo vod taki, vod katoi dalšo se dada. A kaki to razni ludi žili v razni domov, katoi je vodlo v sovhoz, ili je to posto... В свое время совхоз, когда работал, ага. рабочий был, люди от совхоза получали квартиру. Ага. Вот эти коттеджи вот эти вот те, ага. вот, вот улица Кунгушна, да? Угу. Я вот, например, здесь покупал. А, -а, -а да? Ага. Да, здесь я не знаю, как... Тут еще есть муниципальные еще, которые, ну, не приватизированные, ага. у меня они как бы... А, -а, -а понятно. Да, да. А так, да, понятно. вот у меня, например, отец... Эти коттеджи строили в 85-м году, а -а -а. если я не ошибаюсь, да, а -а -а. это 85-й год. Но они хорошие, да? А? Они, много, они лучше, да? Конечно. Да, да. Там, считай, практически часто своя территория, ну, да, да, земля да, подарок. Да, да. Я так как... первый раз вижу в России, что около совхоз строили вот типа эти коттеджи, не, не, не. да? Это еще строили при СССР, а -а -а. их сдавали в 85-м году. Вот. вот. Mm -hmm. Мой отец, покойный царство небесный, mm -hmm. да, а, вот у меня mm -hmm. коттедж. Ага. Ага. Только с той стороны. А, понятно. Улица Пунтышева, да. Ага. Значит, его отец мой получал при СССР. Ага. Он отработал э, три сезона на комбайне. Раньше ага. предложили, да, то ага. получите коттедж. Потом, ага. кстати, вот эти панельные дома, ага. вот эти панельные дома, 
Я вот про эти вот я не знаю, а там вот самом самом крайние вот те дома, вот ага. такие же, да, панельные, самые ага. самые последние. Их тоже получали от, от колхоза, люди на комбайне кто-то ага. работал, ну короче. Ладно. Было, как говорится, это, да. Хорошо. Вот и покажешь, как люди живут. Давайте, покажи, очень интересно. Спасибо. О, вот как у вас организовый, молодец. Вот, смотрите, вот здесь хочу ага. сделать а, типа стеллажа, ага. типа пол, пол, чтобы был ровный. Ага. Потому ага. что, видите, я затеял себе сделать мини-трактор. Мне надо, чтобы он ровно стоял, я здесь буду все делать, варить. Все, что надо. Мини-трактор это как, как называется... Э, сама, как называется? Это как... Самоделка. Я вижу, что вы это тоже любитель шашлык, да? Тоже. Бывает, да. да. Вот у меня там в огороде мангал, а -а -а. навесик такой а -а -а. небольшой летний. Отлично. Там можно стол сидеть, там отлично, все такое, отлично. да. Отлично. Это вот заготовка, винтовка а -а -а, Мосина. Вау. Даже не винтовка, а карабин Мосина. Вау. Офигеть. Вот такая вот штука. Вау, молодец. Тут еще, конечно, много делов, но я пока не до нее. Прикинь, вот, вот случайно вас видел на улице, и вы такой интересный человек. Вообще круто. Я уже лет 10. Офигеть. Лет 10. Тоже самодельное изделие. Ага. Это вообще просто... Check out this sign they put here. That's really cool. Look, attention, look. Don't put the uh, rubbish everywhere. Don't be a pig. And Gennady himself, he put the sign up. And he said about the rubbish being dropped here, it really pisses him off. Now check it out, we've got like a ski slope here. Hello. We've got a ski slope here, man-made ski slope, that is sick. Look at that. That is incredible. We've got someone, someone's been walking. Look at these dogs going crazy at me. Someone's been walking on this door, look. I don't know what's going on here. Is it the wind that's making all these flags just turn into ghost flags? Crazy, right? We've got a crazy amount of wild dogs here. Now, in the UK, I used to be scared of these dogs, but I'm not really scared of them anymore. Who knows what this is for? We've got a tire on like a shelf on a tree. Look at this! We've got a fairy tale castle going on over here and a dragon. We've got the dragon and it looks like we've got the dragon slayer as well. This guy look with his chains pulling the dragon some of the crazy things that you see along the road I think it's the same in every country right you're driving along and there's some really strange attraction been built this one here is built because there's a shashlik like cafe here that you're on the roadside that people can stop and eat take a break from the journey or whatever and this is the map of it look wow it's quite a big territory isn't it we've got the dragon just there look and we've got a bridge and the main cafe and hotel I guess and then lots of different places I've got to look a flying saucer over there how crazy is that? let's see if they'll let us inside to uh, film the flying saucer let's give it a try they can only say no they can only say no wow we've got another miniature dragon here look how cool is this place? huh and we've got some is this mosaic it's a mosaic oh no it's not it's just a painting здравствуйте я мимо езжу я веду вас карта и там НЛО да у вас а может я пойду снимать его можно да спасибо спасибо here we are look at this place it's incredible здравствуйте What have we got here? We've got these little places, I guess. These are places where you can have a barbecue in the summer. You can book the table or there'll be a little table there and you can chill out and have a barbecue. And then what else have we got going on? This is maybe something they use for maybe people, you know, 
have parties here as a big group of people so it says the guest house we've got some big crows over there on the wall and a wing a windmill here what else look at this this is incredible completely unexpected you see these crazy things don't you on the sides of the roadside you know places and what they're called the roadside stops that one there it says sauna up there incredible and again with the eagles theme we've got like a caveman have we making a fire we've got a war plane here but the snow's too deep to get to it and there's a gun on top of it wow In insane that is sick can we get around the other side check out those icicles blimey how sick is that We've even got a little rockets look on the side. This is totally unexpected, right? I bet kids would love it here. You know what it's like when you're on a road trip and there's kids in the car and they're annoying as hell and you just want to be able to stop and let them run around this place for a while in the summer and jump on all the things and yeah, have fun while you can relax for an hour. This looks like an ideal place. All these different cabins that you can sit in order your food and they'll bring them out to you look and wow let's go walk over the bridge now i usually have panic attacks on bridges but i think i'm going to be okay on this one and i can see the spaceship <laughs> looks like we've got another car under there <laughs> that's crazy that is crazy and check out the alien and the spaceship I'm just going to go inside mate, okay? Wow! And this is also just a place where you can come and have your barbecue that is sick guys! Wow! That is sick! That is so incredible! I am very impressed. It looks like he's been here a while. I wonder if he speaks Russian yet. All right, mate. You've got massive hands, haven't you? Well, that's, let's have a close up of the fairy tale and the dragon around the corner. We've got a cat holding up the tree. Look, ha! he's got a hard job. That's a huge tree, and there's a giant fish on there for some reason. That's as far as we're going to get because of the snow. But we've got a prisoner look up there. Is that uh, Rapunzel up in that castle? It might just be Rapunzel, might it? And here we are next to the dragon, the three-headed dragon. Would you like this guy's job? Difficult job he's got. Or maybe the dragon is the one pulling him. I like how the dragon is biting the lamppost. It's almost like Godzilla-like. Baba Yaga. Wow. And she's in a bucket for some reason, but wow. So I can just make out on this building over here. It says Soyuz. No Sovietsky, but Soyuz is there. Check out the wall of snow as I drive down this road. That is mad. Just shows how much snow we've had this year. That is insane. Don't think anyone's going to be playing basketball today. Although it's making it easier for me to dunk it like that. Is this the most Soviet thing you've ever seen in your life? And this is for the eternal memory of all the people that lived here wow that is something else isn't it this is the best post office i've ever seen in my life incredible look at the character that is madness and up there it says Pochterasi post office wow and then also, there's the bin outside, there's a, an old fridge. 
so much character. Don't know what it'd be like to live inside though. Right, well I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. It was a bit of a long one today, but I had loads of fun filming it. Now, if you are already following my other channel, B Road Russia, then you'll have loved this adventure because it's the kind of thing I film over there. And if you're not following it, then click below the video to the link so you can subscribe to my B Road Russia channel because I'm going to be filming loads of B Road Russia content now that the weather's got a lot better. Anyway, time for me to head over to the propaganda machine to get myself brainwashed so that I can create some more amazing content for you. I am a Russian man and I go to Banya. In Russia, we go to Banya. So I'm gonna go back inside the Banya, get warm, jump in the snow and uh, I'll see you in the next video.